Nice entrance. Oh. So? We heard of Dallas. But I know nothing of any Verdus. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud loyal to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Just a Atusa. Atusa, please. Your Godwoken has asked you a question. Answer him. Need I repeat myself? Godwoken, what a but title. I know nothing of any Verdus. We already know the truth, Magister. Now speak. I am a proud loyal to the Order. I would not dream of subverting our cause. Atusa, please. Your God hey, let's crash this party. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. Why the dirty dress? <laughs> Look at that. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. Yikes. You're right, Alexander has also collar. Why? Weird. This can't be serious, Alexander. Remember Come. that. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Weird, exactly, especially like as the commander of this outpost, why is he source muted? That means he is a sorcerer. Weird. And also, what the heck, cut out your tongue? makes himself small. He'd rather not get noticed now. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Yikes. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. What the heck? Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. Bishop and your friend. You really seem like a friendly guy so far. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. Yeah, you really seem like a friend, Alexander. Oh gosh. What a waste. That colour looked an awful lot like elsewhere. sorcery, didn't it? Gosh. What an entrance. Was interesting, we're not wearing any hands. Well, beside those leafy things. The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. The cruelty of it makes me sick. She was a lizard, yet a magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. What the heck? We don't even know what she did. Cutting out the tongue, being killed on the spot. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally the weaker specimens suffer. Oh boy. See if we can find something out by I eating our leg. Exactly. A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. So she was guilty. I try to get someone to escape. Curious. How do I open my lock? Choose us fellow dissidents. I 
I do wonder if those people over here were those. Because, I mean, they seem to be all up and running, right? I took it away. Let's see. And I mean, they were clearly waiting for someone. So maybe that was either Atusa or Verdus. Curious. Again. On the other hand, not really many people here. Psst. Fear, alas! I'm sorry, dear one, but you must go. Okay, apparently not. Talk Everything you. has a heart, except lizards, maybe. Maybe they do. I don't know. The waterfall has a heart made of a giant diamond. See? What? What waterfall? I want the giant diamond. Hmm. Oh! Chess? Uh, so far, so hard to go there. Let's do a marker. Test. Of course, in time, we will have the ability to get there. We have to look out for more distance. I know who it was. Can't really remember. Ah, what a bloody welcome to Fort Joy. Sounds like fun. Sounds like joy. Did you see them? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't yeah, be those pretty. huge monsters. You mean those horrific creatures the Magisters had in town, right? That Magister? That was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? Excuse me that I'm not being respectful to the people enslaving me. You know, still getting the lay of the land. Better get to it then. A magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while though. We're up to our hoods in sinners these days. Reassuring. <coughs> I got my eye on you, Moss Muncher. Don't try any of that sauce business on my watch or I'll do to you what the hammer did to that traitor. Well, <sighs> what a charming welcome. You know, I'd rather prefer to consume moss than your flesh. All I'd see consuming you would be memories of bullies and probably impotence. You shut that filthy gash in your face before I cut it right off you. You're all the same, you sorcerers. Don't recognize what's good for you. Like dogs, you lot. You think you're good for us? Okay. Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. You sound like a fanboy. Well, seems like I missed out the fun. They were just there, just there, but a moment ago. Oh, gosh. Come on then, Legsy. Pay up. Hey, fine. I find any bread, I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket, toes the same. Why is no one wearing Your pants? Your grift teaches you to bully others. Pathetic. Except Fane, which is kind of funny. You keep his name out of your mouth, you filthy cud chewer. Oh. <laughs> Have you cud? Disgusting, just like all your kind. People are so racist against elves. Disgusting. Dear one, help me teach this beast. He must respect. Respect? Huh. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you gotta make this so hard? <laughs> By being an elf. Oh, how dare you? An intense looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him. It's Ifan, who you Love. met aboard the ship on the way here. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. 
Good thing that they all made it. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. Well, before I get involved, who is this Griff? Runs the kitchen. Means he runs me, you, and everyone else in camp. Oh yeah, he doesn't know that the cook is always the one in charge. You know, that sounds like kind of shakedown in disguise, don't you think? You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us, and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Now come on, elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. Nice. Not only bullied by the magisters, but also by other prisoners. And fun fact, at least he also has uh, this eye on his back. She doesn't though. And the elf? Neither. Curious. You know, if you choose to harm her, I won't stand by and watch. And I think it will harm you. And neither will I. We got a system. And it looks like you don't want to fit in. Then break the system. Nice. And we got a hell of a lot of atti attitude, or did we just lose it? Ethan plus 10, LOD plus 50. Yeah, nice. Okay. The Defiler. Charming. First turn in combat affects a random player with explosive fill. Killing the Defiler prevents explosive fill from spreading. Necromancer plus 7. Okay, I think that mod is way harder than the whole than the whole thing about uh words. Well, the whole thing about tactician. Come on, burn for me. Throw stone. Without harming Ifan if we can. Yes. Explosive filth sounds like a very nasty <laughs> disease. Which is also nice. Hello. Two turns. It's damage upon expiring and affects the nearest player with explosive filth. The LED at least has so many HP we don't have to worry about her. Both still have physical armor, so it's going to a shield. Could at least knock her down, so let's do that. Nice. See, just skipped her turn. Just want to make sure that he really dies, so let's go boost ourselves, then use the cane touch, and I guess then heal him. Welcome, now you're healed. Ha! That's still quite powerful. He's uh, one of them. Nope. Poison fire is quite neat. He regenerating. Can't regenerate. That uh, seems. Seems like the necromancy stuff uh, avoids avoids the whole uh, decaying touch thing. Oh. Ah, ten damage, and here we go. It's also nice that no one bets an eye, right? Follow me before more of them trouble us. I have an errand to run around here first. I'll catch up with you there later. Remember, past the kitchens, down to the beach, inside the caves there. Hey, let's hope I don't forget, because probably I will. There is a safe place. Renathity told us. Ah, Kevin entrance. It is marked. Thanks, game. 
Ethan. Ethan rolls his sleeves back down and casually wipes some blood from his cheek. He nods at you, the shadow of a smile on his lips. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? I love how close we're standing. <laughs> he stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. Lavender smiles and reaches out a hand to shake his. He grips your hand tight as a vice and shakes it hard. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back, and it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. Sure. I've just got a small errand to run, and then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? You don't have to ask me twice, but I have quite a few questions. So, what do you want to save Fennel from the thugs? Ah, I didn't like the look in their eyes. Sure you didn't either. He smiles broadly and looks away. You're not sure, but you could swear he just winked at you. Lavender winks back. You know, the thugs were kind of afraid when you mentioned the lone wolf, so... I have no idea what they are, so can you explain? He shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. You know, what does Aaron, usually when people say words like that and then ominous, it is kind of suspicious, right? Everyone needs to make a living. I make mine running errands. Well, what kind of errands? The little black cat trailing you hisses at him, hair raising a ridge along its back. Without batting an eyelid, the man rumbles a lupine growl. The cat hides behind your leg, mewling. So, I mean, let's be frank. Who are you here to kill? He shoots you a flinty look, all teeth and peril. Lone wolves only share such information with friends. Are we going to be friends? Well, sure hope so. He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the midday sun. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Did you just notice that he doesn't answer the question? <laughs> Survival's my main priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer's not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? Wayfarers are quite fun, actually. Um, but the thing is, uh, I want Ethan, because of his special ability, which you will see later, um, as a summoner. And also, summoner is one of the most fun classes. For me, at least. Oh my god, I just leave, love Ethan so much. Me too, he's a really awesome character. And quite hot. You know, I'm interested in someone with an affinity for the arcane arts. Do you know anything about magic? What good's an outlaw who can't command the shadows? I've dabbled enough to know I've an affinity for the darker arts. But I'm a quick learner. What's your preference? Well, 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 the dark arts. You know, I'm interested in a conjurer, someone who can summon an aid to the battlefield. The more the merrier. Can do. Onwards. Onwards. He scans the horizon for threats with one green eye, then nods back at you. Right you are. Lead the way. He still didn't tell us about the whole contract errand thingy. Oh well. One handed maze. If we can give that one to the Red Prince. That's a small improvement. Hello. Oh. Empty bottle. How useful. And there's the next one. You gonna pray all day, buddy? Why hmm. devoted to shrine to the divine solution? That is an interesting portrait. Okay. Painting of Lucian. They don't look much alike, I have to say. Right? Bow your head, please! 
If we chant the endless prayer, the next divine will ascend, even if your kind has displeased the god so terribly of late. Excuse me, what do you mean by my kind? You know what I mean, elf. The dwarves and lizards are no better. The lot of you would drag us all into oblivion with your blind devotion to source. <sighs> the classic, the humans know it right, and everyone else doesn't. Kinda reminds me of Dragon Age. The time of source is over. I mean, you have a color. Aren't you also a sorcerer? Of course I am, or I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. But I am humble enough to know that if Rivalon is to survive, I must surrender my power to the Divine Order. Sure. The source has become dangerous. It will undo us all. Mm-hmm. Okay, good luck with that. Hello, sir. What's your deal? Hey, I know you. Hello, sir. The dark-eyed jokes to you met aboard the ship waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube, and you were... Did we also use a fake name? You. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice I tentacle was. slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Oh, I think Lavender and Losa will get, get along swimmingly just because of very different, uh, very similar humour. Mm, I just know I tried to run for the boat, but uh, spots were never my strong suit, so didn't make it. The rest, kind of blurry. I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. Interesting that no one else commented on that if they all saw. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. Deal. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? No, oh, it wasn't just us. And very slowly, Levin and Knots. Yeah, that was a strange voice. And kind of seemed to want me to survive. Kinda of weird, right? I heard the same thing! Curious. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only... <laughs> Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Greyish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. I heard that before. Weird. I'm like possessed. Um, hello, sir? Are you alright? You have kinda a black eye. Oh, well, two. Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours, dark pupils dilated into great black voids. It doesn't sound healthy. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway. What were we talking about? Um, in the frowns. You know, why are you acting so strangely? I mean, there was quite the obvious shift. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. I. My <laughs> gosh. Oh, come on. Lavender wiggles a wreckage eyebrow. Oh, so you mean I should my make myself at home? Ha! <laughs> what I mean is, look, you've never been a, a host, right? That's because you're like a clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. Oh. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a, a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star in for the disembodied. Hmm. Someone who has entities visiting again and again. Sounds interesting, but dangerous and also horrible to be just so little control. I mean, depends on how much they can do, right? If they just look out of the eyes, it's just creepy.
You know, I think I've heard about something similar back in my homelands. I think I know you better than you think. She gives you a searching look. Hmm. Huh. You seem pretty well adjusted. Ah, uh, looks can be deceiving. Ain't that just the truth? So, how are you enjoying the joy? Um, uh, I think the Middlesex and I have very different definitions of joy, you know? When I arrived here, there was something about a danger to myself and society. Nothing new. Yeah, same story here. Reckon in my case, they might actually be right, though. Mm -hmm. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength and numbers and all that. Sounds a little bit like a ticking time bomb with us, but... Sure. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, sure. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve, so you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Looking around? Yeah. Lately I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? I just looked it down at my at my handy piece of notes. I don't know if you can even see it, but uh, we're going to do uh, going to go with, for a night with Lisa. You know, something someone with a little muscle would be great. You know, any martial experience? Sure, bashing skulls, juggling them, all in a day's work. Let's get specific though. It really sounds like you're getting around, right? Uh, night, night, night. You know, I'm looking for an executioner, someone who can deal a lot of damage, up close and personal. Just the right kind. You know, a knight would fit the bill. Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Sure. Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay myself. Lead the way. Nice. Yeah, and without the patch, you would have just four slots. We have more. We have six. So, lots of strength, lots of constitution, and all the way warfare, which is just all out physical attacks. And two handed weapons. Righty. So, yeah, so far from the ones I planned, we have one magical, we have two who can kind of do both. Of course, we do uh, mainly physical damage with a hint of magic. And Ethan will do, uh, well, kind of depends, but more like the other way around. So more magical, but can do physical. And uh, one purely physical and one purely magical. Okay. Where to go next? I would say, let's just look around. And yeah, because I talked about Ethan's special ability. All the companions have a unique source ability. For the uh, non-origin player character, it's always Dome of Protection, so uh, restoring physical and magical armor. Alosa is the maddening song. Sing, causing enemies in the target area to become mad. Maddened characters will take those nearest to them, regardless of their alignment. Gotta say, I think I never used that. I will try it out in this Let's Play. But which one is really, really awesome is Ethan's. Summon Ethan Soul Wolf. So as you trust your Soul Wolf, which can howl and bite enemies. You can also um, you can also buff him and stuff, and it's really cool. On the one hand, it's a big fluffy wolf, and it's quite powerful. My favorite though is probably nah, it's probably Ethan's, which is also very nice. Is Faints the Time Wolf, targeted character. Whenever this character ends a turn in combat, they immediately get a free turn. Come on, old it's just man. really powerful. I can't wait all day. And for the Red Prince, it's Far Demonic on. Stare. Drain magic back. armor from target character and gain that amount for yourself. Which is okay, didn't do it too much. 